This training topic will focus on the print management configuration of SSRS reports for LazyNet. So some SSRS reports do not require any configuration in print management before they can be used. However, some other SSRS reports like the purchase order report do require configuration in the print management form. So if you try to generate an SSRS report or a LazyNet replacement report for the purchase order without setting up print management, then you will be blocked by this error. And now we will open up our Dynamics environment to have a look at the setup required for the print management for a purchase order. So firstly, we will open up our list of modules, go to the procurement and sourcing module, setup, forms, form setup, select print management. And here we can see a list of SSRS reports which are used in the procurement and sourcing module. You'll notice that some of these SSRS reports have a triangle next to them, and this just indicates that these have been set up for print management. So we can see here the request for quotation, as an example, is using the RFQ send.report SSRS report. But if we look at the purchase order, this doesn't have a triangle next to it, which means that this hasn't been set up for print management. So all we need to do here is right click the purchase order, click new. We can see the triangle has now appeared and we can see that an option is nested within purchase order. And if we look at the report format, we can also see the system name for the SSRS report, which will be used for the purchase order. Um, this has been filled in automatically, but we can see here that we only have one option, which makes it very easy to uh, determine which one to use. And there's no save button on this form, but if we go to finance and operations, we can then save the um, content on that form and return back to the dashboard. And just to go back to our presentation, um, we can see here that it's not only the procurement and sourcing module, which has a print management set up for the SSRS reports. We can also go into the accounts receivable module to have a look at a list of reports related to that module. So we have the free text invoice, customer account statement as an example. We also have the project management and accounting module, which also has uh, reports related to that module. And we also have the warehouse management module as well, and the reports which are uh, related to that particular module as well.